In this video, I'm going to be putting up the fence panels and creating this nice looking fence here. Now, when I was putting up the uh, rails, I needed a way to hold them in place while I toe nailed them in. Um, since I was doing it by myself and didn't have anybody to hold the rails in place for me. So I modified some joist brackets uh, just by cutting off one end so that I can uh, clamp those to the posts and then set the rail inside and uh, nail them in. Now the design of the fence that I went with is going to have three rails. I think that will provide a nice fence that will hold the pickets well and uh, keep them from bowing out. There was different types of wood that I could choose for uh, doing this project and I went with uh, above ground rated pressure treated wood for the rails and then I used uh, ground rated pressure treated wood for uh, setting the posts. Now you could use cedar rails but uh, it's a little bit more expensive but one thing that's nice about uh, the cedar is that it uh, is naturally um, resistant to rotting um, and degrading over time but uh, it will fade if you don't treat it and since you're paying a good amount for that wood you're probably going to want to uh, treat it and make it keep it looking nice now I would say toenailing your rails to your posts is a better and cheaper way than using brackets. The only thing is that you might be afraid of how to go about doing it without splitting the wood or making sure you get the nail in right. And the best way to do that is by using pilot holes, uh, pre-drilling the holes. And that let me put the nails in uh, the way I wanted. I drilled from the exit where I wanted it to exit the board and enter the post and then uh, put it at about a 45 degree angle or so and then well the drill broke out is actually where the nail starts. Now the nails that I used are patio slash deck nails that are galvanized and specifically made for exterior use and they are twisted in design which helps them lock in place and prevents them from pulling out and the wood that i used for my pickets was uh, cedar i went with cedar pickets just because they looked a lot nicer than the other options so yes, I did go with uh, pressure treated wood for the rails and the posts, but I wound up using cedar pickets and that really made the fence look nice. I will say that it's a good idea that if you're cutting pressure treated wood, that you should seal the ends of the wood. Otherwise, um, the moisture will dry unevenly in that board of wood and you'll start getting some warping issues. It's also a good idea to uh, stain your wood um, as soon as it's able to accept a stain. You don't need to wait until it completely dries out. It's actually better uh, to go ahead and stain it. That way it'll actually slow down the drying process of the wood, but the wood will still uh, dry out. Um, the benefit to slowing down the drying process is that the wood will be less likely to warp on you and start cracking. Now on this uh, fence design that I went with, I once I got the three rails up, I put a top piece on the uh, top rail. I put a 2x4 on top of the uh, top rail that is in the horizontal position. And that's basically just a trim board. Um, it doesn't really need to be there, but it's, uh, it provides a nice aesthetic to the fence. And then I'll also be able to uh, take the pickets and put them right up against that 
board, um, which makes setting the pickets uh, a lot easier too. The nails that I used for putting on the pickets are cedar shake nails. Uh, they're galvanized and made for exterior use. And they're actually used for putting on, you know, cedar shakes on your roof. But uh, they work pretty good for putting on your uh, cedar pickets too. They have some ribs on them that help them lock in place and help prevent them from pulling out. The sun and weather can tend to pull nails out over time. Um, so that's why having these ribbed nails is, is a nice feature. Now, once I got the pickets up, I put some trim board at the top of the fence. And then I also continued that down the sides of the fence. And that trim board is just a five-fourths decking board. Um, originally, I was just going to put it at the top. But uh, I wanted to fill the gaps at the end of the fence from putting in the pickets. And I decided to just uh, go ahead and run those down the side and cut in a 45 degree uh, cuts there in the corners and that actually wound up uh, framing the fence in really nice and uh, turned out to be a nice aesthetic uh, feature of the fence now once i got those uh, trim boards in i needed to cut off the top of the posts and i made a metal guide that i was able to run the saw against and cut the top off the way i wanted um, once I got the top cut off, uh, I put the caps on and I toe nailed them in place. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, take it easy and have a good one.